Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna talk about theories that I've come up with of Ice Cream 4. I actually have two theories. One of them is basically debunked. Because I saw the trailer. Um, I'm gonna watch it in this video, definitely 100%. I don't know when, but I'm definitely gonna watch the video. Um, the trailer. Ignore that notification sound. Apparently, I got a notification of whatever notification I got. But, um, yeah. But one of them I made before the trailer. And it's... The whole thing's basically debunked. Um, debunked, false, whatever you want to call it. The other one that I came up after the trailer. This one I literally came up by now. And I wanted to share it. Just because of how... I don't want to brag, but... I feel like my own theory is just well thought. But yeah, I've come up with these theories, and I wanted to share them because I thought it would be fun. And maybe, maybe it might come true, who knows? If it does, man, it's going to be interesting to see other people's reactions when, because I like to watch people play ice cream, mainly because of their reactions to it. I mean, it's also, um, entertaining with the gameplay and stuff, but it's mainly the reactions that get me into YouTube videos. So, if this theory is true, it's obviously not going to be the first one I'm going to talk about. If the second one that I'm talking about that might be true, if that is true, man, a lot of people are going to go crazy. It's going to be interesting, because the theory that I thought of is one of the most interesting fears I've ever thought of. Anyways, let's stop talking. Let's stop acting like a pooper scooper. I know that makes no sense, but if you know me, y you don't. But if you knew me, you knew that I I never make sense. Because, I'm stupid. But, let's just move on to our first theory, which, it's not true. Not 100%. Not gonna be in the game. Maybe some parts might be part of the game, Chances are, no, and I already know, like, the first thing you're gonna hear about this theory, you're gonna be like, yeah, that's not happening, because this happened in the trailer, in the first clip, in the first frame of the first clip. In the first frame of the first clip, in the first frame of the first clip. Alright, let's just move on to our debunked false theory. Um, basically, Jay was gonna be the one locked up in the van, in the mic... And Liz and Charlie were going to be locked up in the factory. Um, we would play as, ro not rides, Jay's parents. Um, and there would be a bunch of locations. Um, think of any location you want. You could, let's just use all of the location in every a single ice cream game for an example. Um. All those locations are there. Some locations you're the mom, some locations are the dad. And you, there's some special powers, like the the dad is faster and the mom... Um... I don't know, the mom's more sneakier, I guess? I don't know, I didn't, fought, I didn't think this far, because the trailer came out really f quickly. Uh, but yeah, and... Basically, after you're free... After you solve the puzzles and free Liz, Charlie, and Mike, you would unlock a new location, and all three of the kids would help you try to find the cage key, because that location that we unlock will have one and one item only. The... The cage key! Oh my god. It took that long to think of two simple words. I already, like, said it, like, ten times before. Why did it took so long to to process? My god! My god, I'm, I'm a broken-down robot, even though I'm, I'm not even a robot. I'm just crazy, like I always am. Anyways, after that, you find the cage key, free J, and... The ending would be nothing, because I didn't think this far. <laughs> but, let's move on to our next theory. Which, this one isn't debunked or false yet. But, some parts might actually be true. 
And if it is, wow, that's going to be interesting. Here's my second theory. We're just going to start off with, there is going to be no van, but there's going to be a map. You might be asking, how are we going to move to, basically, you would put down, you would put up the map, it would just be somewhere in the ground, like maybe rod after, you know what, let's actually go to the trailer, hold on a minute. Now, I've already seen this trailer, so don't expect any, ooh, this, ah, that, and if I do do that, I'm overreacting, because i already seen this, and my basic, basically, if you want to know my reaction, I was like, oh my god, Rod is so creepy, this and that, blah, 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 and that's kind of it, because Rod is creepy in this trailer, oh my gosh, and things he say, I know where people are going to make, like, out of context, and that's what said jokes, like, <laughs> Blah 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 this blah 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 that. All right. Anyways, let's just watch the trailer. This is one of the coolest trailers. Um, cause this opening is different. It's not just oh he freezes another friend of ours. Oh no, we gotta save him. Subtitles. This I mean this has subtitles, but there's nothing wrong with subtitles, is there? I don't think so. In fact, subtitles are helpful. Because subtitles, um, but this is, but it's not just he catches a kid. Well, he does, but it's 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 more different. I've already watched the trailer, like I said, so don't expect any reactions. But I just want to watch it again and maybe just go over it and just go over my theories as we. Is it bad that I laughed every time he says, like, the stupid fat kids? It just, it just sounds goofy. Especially when he's- the way he says stupid. The stupid fat kids. The stupid fat kids. The voice actor of Rot does a really good job. Like, like, a, like the character that he plays, like, the character he role plays as, he does a great job at it. Whoever the voice actor Rod is, I don't know who he is. But whoever he is, he he does a great job. <laughs> that is so cool. And the way he says I'll squeeze you in your ass drop. <laughs> Excuse me, what do you mean again? I mean, that means two different things. I mean, it means, oh, he's gonna squeeze us to ice cream. But what does he mean? Or, insert Lenny face. Uh, what am I, okay, at this point, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just talking about a bunch of nonsense. But, this trailer... Is so much like the opening of this. It's so much like different than just him catching a kid. It's like him like talking kids. And all right, now let's move on to this theory. Maybe like after like he closes the door, he drops a map, and you put up the map and all the rooms in the factory. Cause hold on, let's move. Let's actually. Look at how big that factory is. I think the whole factory is going to be like its own world. And each, well not each room, because there's probably like 10,000 rooms in that factory. Um, I don't know, because, you know, I'm not the creator of this factory. Um, and the model, I can't even model anything. If the thing I, the only thing I can model is the thing that it starts with, like a circle or something. Cause it did it for me. Anyways, uh, but there's a lot of rooms. So maybe like rooms connected to each room. Like if there's a room too small, it's connected to room. Like basically, most of the rooms in this factory would be its own location, like the garage. Maybe you, maybe the purple room would be its own room. But 
I don't know. It's it's mysterious. It's its own special move. So if it is going to be a location, it's probably a location you have to like unlock after you do this or that. Maybe maybe that location is where the weapon is. Because when I pre-registered the game, it says you get something special. And I heard that it's a weapon. That's how you get the weapon. So maybe that's where the weapon is. Um, I know, I, I know that's where he keeps all of his how to make humans into ice cream crap machines there. But maybe it's also the weapon. Who knows? Who knows what the frick that thing is? All I know is that it has to do with machines turning humans into ice cream and him squeezing us. You. Um, but... Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be, like, its own world, and maybe when you- Okay, so, after you solve all the puzzles in the factory, you free the kids, and here's the thing. So, in this theory, Ride locks up the factory, can't get out. Th this factory is its own, um, world. What if Ride, like- the key, like the key to the factory, he broke it into four pieces. Put one in Jay's cage, one in the other kid's cage, Charlie, Liz, and Mike. And why would he do that? What if he did that basically just to taunt him? Like you have the piece of the key, but you don't know oh, what to use it for. <gasps> That's because, unfortunately for you, you're locked up in the cage. <laughs> That was my ride impression. I hoped you liked that. Man, I should do more impressions of characters and be embarrassed. And get and cringe at myself. Anyways, um But yeah, that's like why that's something that Rod would actually do. Like he would put like four pieces of cages of, of the key of the factory to, like, mimic, like, basically taunt the kids because they can't do anything besides Jay because somehow he gets out of the cage. We don't know how because the trailer ends before we can even see how he escapes. Maybe, maybe Jay, maybe, maybe Jay just gets skinny again. <laughs> if that was the case, then Mike would be able to escape. Who the f Frick knows, because the game hasn't come out. This is just the trailer. This is just the opening for what's to come. And there is probably a lot. And Ice Cream Free had a secret ending. One of this, this might, this game most also might have a secret ending. Not just a secret ending, but maybe multiple of alternate endings. And that would, that would be really cool and how they get them. I remember getting the secret ending for Ice Cream Free. I was trying to be hard mode. And I got it an accident. And I was like, you know what? I feel like the video, even though it's like eight minutes, um, let's just leave it like this. Let's just make short video instead and just talk about theories instead of doing hard mode. Because I didn't even mean to do it. I just kind of wanted to show off that, hey, I beat the game. There's a potion. And when I clicked on it, I didn't expect it to bring us to a new ending ending so that was really cool um and yeah and maybe after like jay um gets the kids um they form the key into one they escape yippee they say but oh no in this theory so guys you guys are gonna think this is a little crazy but right um like i said this is all not 100 percent true these are just theories but what if rod just Gets into his van and tries to get us. Like, I feel like that's a little too much. Um, that's why I don't think it would happen, but one if it did. That would be sick and weird at the same time. Because, like, that would be a cool ending, but at the same time, how would it even work? Like, how would that even work? Like, that's a little too much. Just him just go in the van and just try to f run out the freaking, like, I mean, this is a little too much. So that's why I don't think it will happen, but I still wanted to mention it because it sounds cool. And that's kind of it. And if that does happen, basically, then he would be like, uh, f like Rod being like, uh, freak it. 
I can't catch the kids because they keep getting out of my hands. They keep, like, escaping before I realize it. And he gives up and Ice Cream Force the last game. And remember, this is all theory. A game theory. This is all a theory. Oops. This is all a theory. Not true. These are all guesses that just randomly came up in my mind. Some of these might not even make sense. I, I, but I still wanted to share it. I still wanted to share it because I thought it would be fun. These random guesses turn into one theory and two theories, but one of them is not true, but the other one might be true. And that's why I wanted to share it, in case if it is true. Because if it is true, then I predicted the future, I guess. I'm, I'm a time traveler. What can I, what can I say? I cannot talk. Oh my gosh. But yeah, um, anyways, um, we're just gonna say, um, goodbye while this video is, um, playing the Ice Cream Fortrayer. But yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, stay safe and wash your hands. Boy, boy.